Hey Riverwood, you ever uh, run across somebody and you just um, you just want to cheer them up? They're down. You want to get them out of their funk, and uh, and you just want them to go back to maybe being happy again. Well, I was reading in Esther, and uh, and and she did this. She did this to Mordecai, and I hadn't noticed it before. But um, you, you, we all love the story of Esther, and quickly she rose to become the queen of, um, with along with King Xerxes of 127 provinces. And Mordecai, who raised her, a Jew, a fellow Jew, um, was in grief because Haman had convinced the king to have the Jews exterminated. And 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 Mordecai is in sackcloth, sitting at the gate. And Esther, get this, when she hears about it, this is what happens. Esther chapter 4, verse 4 says this. When Esther's eunuchs and female attendants came and told her about Mordecai, she was in great distress. She sent clothes for him to put on instead of his sackcloth, but he would not accept them. And we learn later that only after he chose not to accept them did she ask him why was he in sackcloth. You see, isn't it true that so often we run across people that might be down or whatever, and we just want to cheer them up. We don't want to take the time to ask them why they're down because it's uh, that kind of gets messy, gets uncomfortable. We may not want to know the reason why. We just want them to be happy. <laughs> let's not do that. Let's enter into people when they're when they're down or sad. Let's let's see if we can minister to them. That's a clue. Let's get involved. Let's not just send them clothes and hope that they put them on. Let's uh, let's invite them into discovering the joy in Jesus, okay? Now, I look forward to seeing you again on Sunday. We had a great kickoff, I think, this past weekend to look at the four deadly viruses, and we're gonna talk about the virus of criticism this coming Sunday. I hope you can make it, and I look forward to seeing you.